Hello hopefuls and today I want to share with you my craft area and I have been talking about this forever because I have been waiting for my husband to finally put the doors and one of my drawers was stuck so it wouldn't go back. So I had to order a piece and then he was busy with um he's in school with his master's degree and stuff so I had to wait till he was off he took off for my birthday and yeah so let's get started with this I will put in the description box I think I created a playlist I don't remember of my craft room of what I showed before or mom cave slash office slash scrapbook planner room slash everything <laughs> So I will make sure I will put in a card above and make sure I will put the planner space and I will have to probably show that again because it's changing. I've moved some things and then also my scrapbook area which is really just um, my craft table where I sit at every day. I'm kind of trying to move throughout the room and then um, how I have some of my scrapbooks and punches and stuff and so forth and then this area over here is my crafting so if I'm doing anything with I have done some hauls so you guys have seen this I have posted on Instagram where I show like my little I don't know embellishment tower I don't know what you would call that but I got that from Michaels which I'll show in one second I wish they had more and then I also showed my craft closet so this kind of goes in this area goes with that area as well but let's see let's start let's start over here and then and then I have three more areas to show you guys. There is a large piece of furniture that I want to order that I've been waiting to get. And hopefully I'll be able to get that soon. And then I'll show my office area, my filming area, and then the little area that I kind of just um, hang out. And the family comes in and watch TV and so forth. Okay, so over here, I recently did this. It was just like a gap over here. And normally, I do keep a lamp over here. So the lamp is actually right here. But I moved it for video purposes. But um, this tower came from Dollar General. And what I'm going to do, and this is just a cube from Michael. So I didn't want, I had that extra cube. But I didn't have anything to stack on top of it. So I said, well, let me just get the tower that I had in another area and put it here. And I think that'll work out great. So when I open up a Shopify or Etsy shop, um, I will probably put orders here or uh, DIY stuff that I'm already working on over here. So that's what this little tower tower will be this tower is not as large or as big as probably the ones that are like at Walmart or Target but I think it's like $15 at Dollar General oh and then up here guys I forgot to share this area oh right up here where I have like some ribbon I have some paints and the little door or containers of Mod Podge I also have like some little glitter in here and then I also have like some stickles and some more little glitter containers. And this is just like some extra ribbon that I have. And these are individual and I got these from Hobby Lobby. They are by Totally Tiffany. She does have a website, totallytiffany.com. I think that's what the name of it is. And I like her organizing essentials for the craft room. Hobby Lobby may still carry this. I know Joanne's did at one time. Um, I know the other ones that I have in my washi area or they hold washi. Um, but I think you can put ribbon and so forth in them. Actually, it's the very same one. No, it, these are a little bit bigger. So these are bigger. So you only get like three slots. And the washi you get five. So I forgot to add this. That's just some stuff that I'm working on. Then over here, I had this set up for some time now. I just didn't have my cabinets all the way together. So I got these boards from Aldi. <laughs> had a brain fart here. 
from Aldi and I wanted some kind of like command center. I was using this monthly calendar for an editorial blog posts reminder or whatever and I probably still will but if I open up an Etsy shop or a Shopify shop I'll probably put orders up there or something like that or maybe something that's an overview of everything blog posts YouTube everything so I'm still not sure and I absolutely love this pegboard that I got from Habitat Humanity someone created it and or made it and they sold it at the store so I love it I love the finish of it and I haven't really put anything on it yet because every time I put something on I really don't like the way it looks <laughs> so right now it's just plain and I had my little rose up there and then I have a bigger one but I haven't got the step stool to put it back up there so that's all and then I got this from Hobby Lobby when they had the clearance event last year I didn't get anything this year with the clearance event and I think I bought it in pieces and I'm not sure if I shared it in a haul or anything but I really like it I keep my wire cutters and pliers and stuff up here I have two missing somewhere I have to figure out where it is I put like some extra pearls and embellishments and stuff in here some ribbon that I'm currently working with here and then like some different color twine from Dollar Tree. On this dry erase board from Aldi, I just have like these recollection embellishment holders. And then I have like a magnet that says always have hope up there. And then this is my mom and my dad and my aunt Donnie and my uncle Kenny. So this is at their wedding. My mom was actually pregnant with me. And then I um, probably will put that in a frame, but I have it up there for right now. And then I use this wall decal from the Dollar Tree that says, Hello World. I thought it was so perfect. I have some more decals I need to put up. But I like signs. I like too many signs <laughs> and decals. So I kind of do like a Mod Podge collection, which is my preference right now. It may change. My style may change later on. And then here's a family picture. We need a new one. Kasaya's not in that picture and the boy's gotten so much, so much bigger. And then here are some little mirror decal stickers. And I haven't put them all up yet from the Dollar Tree. And then I have not did a DIY on this and I probably should because I have had questions on it. And I did this for my cousin's wedding. So I like those. And then I have a flower. I had this on my desk, but I actually decided to put it over here because I think it is a lot going on, but oh well, it's my space. But I think it plays off the pink flowers here with the blue. It's kind of bright, so you can't really see. Let's, yeah, that's a little bit better. So it plays off the blue with the flowers and so forth. And these flowers came from Marshalls, I think a year maybe a year or two ago. This Believe in Yourself and You'll Be Unstoppable. This came from the Dollar Tree. And then over here, I got this little hanging bling, I don't know, holder from the Target One Spot. And then all of these buckets came from the Target One Spot here. And I just hang them up there. And I think that's a great spot for my... I did have some scissors. When I'm using the scissors, I will put them in there. But for some reason, I don't like the way they look when they're in there. And usually, I just put the small ones because the big ones kind of buckle back and forth. And then I have like a little odd light that I got from Tuesday morning. That if I need more lighting, then I'll just put that up there. And then most of the time, I don't keep my glue gun out. But I thought why not but I may go ahead and just put it in this drawer over here but Sai so usually doesn't mess with it too much and this is like a pad if it's like dripping or anything that came with it I'm sorry the pad didn't come with it it came with another glue gun I think the Martha Stewart glue gun 
and then moving over here these are just some boxes from Dollar Tree and I did glue them together I didn't use like something super sturdy just some hot glue and some of them are stuck together and some of them are not or maybe I never did because I don't see any glue on it so I must never did these and these are just like if I needed some just little they're really for decor but any little embellishment sometimes I have like little gift cards that I still have like a couple of cents on or I don't know whatever I'll probably find a reason to use them but I like the colors and so that's a total of like six six boxes I think I got three at one time and then I grabbed another three when I went back or went to a different Dollar Tree so a little macaron is from Dollar Tree and then going back up here guys this I think it's called an embellishment tower I'm not sure guys but I got it from Michaels probably ooh, maybe two years ago it may have been three years ago and they no longer have this and I wish they did because I actually wanted another one even though mine is not all the way full and a lot of the jars I've been collecting over time like from the Dollar Tree I think they do carry these at the moment it was really tough to find like how many you needed and so forth so I just held on to them and holding on to stuff can be really tough because you want to you know you want to get rid of it or you're like I'm not gonna find a reason for this but I love when it turns out that you waited <laughs> to hold on to it not hoarding but hold on to it because I knew I wanted a tower like this okay and then these are spice jars that I had in another spice container or I had years ago I believe I got it from Walmart and they had all of those different types of spices that you don't quite use all of them and so I just kept the jars and that's what these are and I just cleaned them out and then these little mason jars also came from the Dollar Tree and these I don't know if you guys can really see these are just some embellishments that came from like a wedding that I ordered from Amazon and it was like the wrong size these are like some embellishments that Michaels had in that dollar fifty spot, and then the other spice jars at the top they I believe came from Walmart, and they were actually for my spice drawer, but because I use the bottles because I go through seasoning so fast, I only have like a I only use some of these and not all of these, and then I put the rest up here. So, I know this embellishment tower was only on Michaels.com, but I don't believe they sell it anymore. And then this love of a family makes life beautiful. I believe this is from the Dollar Tree. Perfect to go with my scheme. And then this is ribbon. And I thought about making it all like, making it look aesthetic ple aesthetically pleasing you know neutral or to match my decor and stuff and I said no I'll just forget it <laughs> I skipped right over my little hope here and this came from the Dollar Tree and Juanita Weston she is my planner sis YouTube sis and she sent this for me we did like a swap for Secret Santa I think a swap or Secret Santa because we we're like in some of the same Facebook groups and um, she sent me that with my um, name on it. Really cute. For my cabinets, guys, these are closet made. And I actually got them from Home Depot. And I can't, let's see, if I can remember how much they were. It was, I believe it was like one, not too much over $100. So it wasn't much. Um, it, I mean, it was a lot, but it. It wasn't like 150 or something like that. I think it was like 119, no more than like 120. So right here in this area, if you guys can see, it's actually like a tabletop that you can buy. And I believe this was like $20, just a tw tabletop. And I guess you don't have to have it, but you'll have that gap in the middle. And then I thought this was perfect. So especially for filming, I can just bring my light boxes over here and I already have like a white backdrop and I can just wipe it off it gets dusty or dirty or anything like that in my drawers are mostly in my space I have lots of room to grow 
every single nook and cranny isn't full as of yet and um so in my drawers and i cannot find my label maker guys so i guess starting over here a lot of the drawer organizers from the dollar tree and i did pick up these jars at one time and i did use these for spices i can't remember where i got these from i want to say walmart as well walmart as well and i think they were like a pack of four or six but i was going to label all of these and i cannot find my label maker i don't know where it is i just looked it amazes me how i know i have a lot of stuff in here but sometimes i just can't find stuff and i don't know if saya he likes to play with it if he moved it but anyway these jar these containers here are from the dollar tree that's if you guys can see and i put some pearls that i recently hauled in that haul in those three different sizes in that one and then i have room to grow and then I have all of these little containers here that are great for embellishments, glitter, and so forth. And then I have one Dollar Tree. They may still have this when they had all of that ribbon washi or fabric tape. And then I was taking some stuff out of my little, I think this came from Michael's, this container. But... These, yeah, the little beads may have came in these, and I just kept them. And I need to take this sticker off. And these are just like those little Dollar Tree stickers that Christmas time, the little snowflakes. And I was taking stuff out of the little tote when I did that little craft tote for Christmas. Putting everything together, I just placed that in there. And then I have a lot of these chunky glitters from target one spot so that's why guys you don't see me hauling a whole lot of stuff i've been on i have been on this channel for what five years almost and a lot of this stuff is like duplicates at target one spot dollar tree and i have a lot of stuff so that's why you don't see me haul a whole lot of stuff anymore um especially if you're new to my channel because at one time i mean i was just like hauling 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 and I have stuff that I just need to use and you don't have a lot of time to use them when you're a creator when you're doing other things so as well these little beads glass beads and I have not collected all of these I need to take a picture and remember the ones that I have which is are the brown or gold and the blue I think they have purple and some other colors then I have like some really fine glitter here. I think I was working with this for a project. And this is so fine that you just want to leave it in the packet. I really don't want to mess with it. These trays as well came from the Dollar Tree. And then I just took this as well. These came from the Target One Spot. The Christmas shaped glitter and the snowflakes, Christmas trees, and the little reindeer. And that's it for that drawer over here in this drawer guys i have like some of this small trim like ribbon that came from like michael's and that dollar 150 spot and then some of this target one spot sequin trim some twine and then this container as well came from the dollar tree all of these came from the target one spot i don't remember these wire baskets I don't remember if I hauled them or not, guys. And I just put some twine in here, some rubber bands here for like that no sew hem stuff for your that you just iron and you can hem something. And I have a tape measure in there, and then some of these craft storage boxes that I finally put something in. I have two in gray and two in white. And these little sequins was a sequin pack from the Dollar Tree. Some of them are for the, from the Target One spot. And I did keep these containers here that I did take some sequins out. So I can take like the stick, stickies off and use it for something else. And then I had these big containers of glitter. I left them in the jars so far. I didn't want to put them up there because I wasn't quite sure if it's enough space. But I put them in here because I will get into my glitter and make a big old mess. 
that one's a little stuck but it was stuck worse than that before and this one glides really well back in down here in my cabinets there is like a gap in between but I'm just glad that Jason got it together for me and I think it's a gap because the way it's sitting here on the end the cabinet is like on the outside versus over here the cabinet's like on the inside so and when I moved it I messed it up so as long as it's together and then over here I have like some embellishment boxes from the Dollar Tree and I was picking up like a lot of embellishments from Michaels. Let's see so I can show you guys. I was using making my own bookmarks and all of that like years ago when we had to do that in the planner community because it was some Etsy shops, but it wasn't like a ton of planner Etsy shops, and we had to DIY a lot of things. And then this is like some heart embellishments. I think I got at Chris um, Valentine's one year. And then these are some more Dollar Tree embellishments as well. And there may be a few more in there, but it's not really full all the way. So I have plenty of room to grow. And then here is just like some hanging wire basket and then I have like some chalk paint in here I have a bunch of money to throw away in the hallway and then some paint brushes in there normally I have a ton of paint brushes and then in this other cabinet I need to do this little DIY to put the washi in that I recently showed in that Dollar Tree haul and then I have like some mesh tubing from the Dollar Tree. I still haven't figured out if I want my deco mesh over here or keep it in my craft closet. I have some of this floral wire and then some of what's this stuff called? The pipe cleaner. Chanel piping. I have some rope from the Dollar Tree and some extra yarn when I did like a Easter pom-pom on the back of the bunny bunny tails I made some bunny tails and then in here is just like some extra ribbon so I think I have a pumpkin in there that I need to take downstairs and put it with the seasonal stuff and then here are like just some I don't know extra DIY stuff and then I had some extra signs here that I think I just didn't put in a tub but I may have kept it here as well to maybe paint over it I'm not sure so I have plenty of space guys to plenty 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 of space to grow and then coming up here which this area will start like my little office area so the next area I will share will be my office chair where like I do office area where I do like business stuff so since I will share most of that, and this is kind of together, I'll go ahead and share this, and then I'll share it again when I do just the office areas. But let me start over here. And so I have Life is Beautiful. I believe I got this from Walmart. Picture, and I love pictures. It's hard for me to pick. This one right here that says Inspire from Big Lot. So I usually end up putting multiple pictures on the wall which a lot of craft rooms do and then this one right here this is let the journey begin I think it's so cute it went really fast in my Michaels probably like a year ago I want to say a year ago and then I have some more of those mirrored butterfly decals and then this was hot pink actually I'm gonna look for some more cuter clips but this is supposed to hold like um cards and stuff like that and I haven't pulled out my cards to put them on there yet I keep them all in a box that you guys send me and then right here she is clothed with strength and dignity and laughs without fear of the future Proverbs 31 25 and this is like a wood plank kind of washed out and I got this from Hobby Lobby I think they had like their spring I think I got it last year some more decals 
And then this is a decal from Dollar Tree Mall decal. And this is Serenity Prayer. So I really had to embrace that Serenity Prayer when I had or when we lost Jasmine. So I couldn't change the situation. So I had to embrace that prayer. Okay, guys. So then over here is I got this from Michaels, and I believe they still have it. I'm not sure. And I had to organize it because at one time I was just dumping stuff in here because I knew I had to organize it. And so right here I have like some staple stuff, all my staplers, some staples. I have like some adhesive tape and dot runner. I have some essential oils, but usually stays in my room. But this one is probably more so for in here, which is peppermint. And so my glue sticks and stuff that I don't have on my other desk will be here. I hide the little pencil sharpener from J JJ from Josiah because he will get it and leave it on the floor. And I think this is so dangerous, guys. I don't know if you guys noticed it too, but these are blades. And if you leave this on the floor, you step on it. That could be bad. So I was having it. I think it's cute. And I had it on my little carousel thing, but that can be really dangerous. Some white out. Mod Podge will probably, I don't know if I can fit two in here, but that's the only Mod Podge I'm surprised that I have right now. Then I have some double sided red adhesive tape, and then some of these glue dots. I have some of the Velcro here, and then some foam mounting tape. And a lot of these things, guys, you can get from Dollar Tree, of course, for your crafting supplies if you're new starting out. And then also Tuesday morning is a great one. And then over here, and that's where I got, like, this red tape here, which is good for, like, crafting, paper crafting. And then in here, I have, like, some razor blades. I need to get maybe one more pack. And then I have some Martha Stewart Craft per Permanent Glue and Craft Glue in here. Um, yeah, and that came from Tuesday morning. Here, some tacky glue, Dollar Tree, some adhesive spray, and then some E6000 glue back here in the back. And then I have my diffuser over here that I think I got this one from Aldi, and then my wax melt warmer, which I think I I don't remember where I got. I might have got this from Aldi too, guys. I don't remember a Walmart. Then I just have some tape. And then in this little holder, which actually is supposed to hold like lipsticks or makeup. I have like my SD cards. And I just keep them all in here. And this usually moves from table to table, <laughs> wherever. But I just have it right here. And then Black Friday... And I think I got that from Dollar Tree. And then Black Friday, I picked up this Frigidaire little fridge. And I don't keep it plugged in all the time. But I got that from Walmart. And then this little stand here is perfect. I can't remember what I originally had it for. But I moved it over here and it fits my printer. And I meant to run that cord behind it. But my HP Ivy 4500 printer. And then I had, what is this called? A laminator. I took that in there. And then I had these little, I had the paper just stuffed up under here. But of course, I was going to make it nice and neat. And I was like, you know what? I have those containers, letter trays from, well, I don't know if they're letter trays or not, but they're trays these containers from the Dollar Tree that I got in their spring line I think last year and then I just added like some stickers that came in this craft sticker book from the Happy Planner so over here I have my cardstock and sticker paper underneath the card cardstock paper and then I have my printer paper and then this stand here which was somewhere else before I don't remember where but I kind of move things around and fit them like puzzle pieces and this came from Walmart the Better Homes and Garden Cube this is supposed to house all of my business stuff so I have my 
old laptop I think I started no I didn't start I used Jason's laptop to start YouTube at the time and then that's my other HP that I used for a long time and I have another one now eventually I'll upgrade to an Apple and then this is just empty right now and then down here I have um, like all of like coupon stuff that I'll put in here like some folders some envelopes and all that different in here I may put inserts in here I'm not sure but probably not the bins are from Walmart too and I believe I got them at the store I didn't get them online and then in this one I still have like lots of room to put stuff I have like some my label maker which is my old one and I believe it still works I just need batteries but I have a newer one and I have like some rewards ink in here HP rewards I don't know if it's called HP I, it's HP instant ink so it knows if you guys know about that it knows when you're about to run out of ink and it's like connected to the Wi-Fi that's why I should go ahead and put that cord up but I had to manually print some stuff out before but it knows when you're low on ink because it's connected to the Wi-Fi connection but anyway, and then I have like some business cards in here, some envelopes. I have more envelopes over there in my little packing area and some thank you notes right on hand so I don't have to go digging for them. And then I got this little organizer. I don't think I show this in a haul from Aldi. And so this will have like maybe some contracts or some business stuff. My, what's it called? What are those papers called? My EIN numbers and stuff like that and then this is just a container which is not container a file magazine holder that I got from Joann's I believe Joann's so it's like really more it's more sturdier than those ones from Ikea that I got from Amazon and then here's like a contract paper in here that Jason picked up for me like a template that you can kind of copy so when I was doing like the, what is it called? The parties and so forth that I had at least a generic contract with people. And that was what that was for. So I will share the rest of my office area in a future video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. And I still have room to grow. And again, I'll make sure, be sure to check out and I'll make sure I will link my planner space my scrapbook area it's not it's just like a crafty area it's not necessarily scrapbook i would say guys if you have a craft space i did get a lot of questions or not a lot of, a lot of comments where people said that they were overwhelmed with their space i am going to end up doing an overview and show you guys what this space looked like before and pan over the whole entire area when i'm done I just thought it was best to do it this way because it's just so much stuff in one area that the video will be really long. But if you're overwhelmed, take your time, guys. Don't feel like it's this race. You have to get it done. I know I'm the type of person to where when I start a project or work on something, I don't want to stop. I get really irritated when I have to stop. And just take your time if you don't have you know all the coins right now to get what you want if you don't have a certain thing that you have in mind what you want but you're not sure if you can find it right now you're looking for it just take your time you know you don't have to have it all done super fast or if you're a creator according to YouTube or if um, if you're not a creator according to whatever you have standard in your head so I know how that can be but just take your time, divide it up into categories, into not categories, but sections of your craft room to make it easier. I know even when I'm cleaning sometimes, I have to break it down and say, okay, I'm going to clean my desk off right now. And then I'm going to clean my little craft corner. I'm going to straighten up my planner area. That's just how I have to do it or I will just be like all over the place. And I'm thinking, oh, I need to go downstairs back in the floor, put a load of laundry in. I need to wash dishes and so forth, guys. So don't let it overwhelm you. Take your time, whatever space you have. I wish I could share with you guys 
all of the different planner spaces planners not planner spaces office spaces that I had over the years I had very little space I had like a corner at the top of our stairs in a town home to nothing but just at my kitchen table or whatever I had beside my bed at the time so just work with what you have and I hope you guys enjoy this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the very next video bye bye